What is going on lads? Welcome back to the channel. We're going to get into a little something different today, which is going to be a meta tactics and formation video. So I'm going to actually show you guys the top 10 players and what they're using, the players they're using, the style they're using, the, the positions that they're using, the formations, the tactics, the managers, all that sort of stuff, right? So we are going to start with the top 10. Uh, we've got a couple of names in there that you guys will uh, be familiar with. There's a couple of pro players. There's a couple of streamers. Um, there's a couple of guys, uh, a couple of my friends, obviously, from the community in there as well. There's a nice range of players in here. But you will see, right, that there is a common team between a lot of the way like the players play, right? There's a common team between how the top 50 I would say to the top 100 play, right? And even pushing it out as far as that. If you are a Division 1 to Division 3 player, you will probably be playing 9 times out of 10 or coming up against a Division 1 to 2 or 3 player. You're going to be coming up against something like this, right? Where you have a very, very, very basic 4-3-3, which is modified to include 3 centre-backs, and you're also going to have 3 striking options up front. So wing play... I don't think is meta, right? I prefer wing play. Wing play is how I like to play the game. That's my personal preference of how I like to play. I'm not trying to be a top 100 player. I'm not even trying to be a top 1000 player. Um, you know, because you need to play a lot of games. You need to play exactly how the game rewards certain mechanics, certain bugs, certain, um, you know, it's all about like minimizing what the game uh, kind of rewards, like for your opponents. So, you know, passing lanes, you don't want to get caught in the counter-attack. I mean, if you're going to be coming up against a guy like this, he's going to be super solid and he'll know exactly what works. He'll know all the animations. He'll know the breakage in animations of when a player is making a pass, when a player is not making a pass, like they're fine-tuned in. Obviously, there's a next level to get to it, um, you know, compared to like a content creator like me who's playing for fun and playing for content. These guys are playing for pro contracts and they're playing playing as esports professionals, a lot of them. So you will notice a, a kind of a trend between all these players, right? So that is the number 10 in the world at the moment uh, in the eFootball League. Latvi, obviously, uh, former AS Monaco uh, professional player as well. You will see there, again, it's that recurrent team. You've got your three centre backs, your three midfielders and your three strikers that are up there. And then you have your, your left back or your right back, depending on what player you actually have at your disposal. Some people use right back. Um, a lot of people use Davies or they'll use Roberto Carlos as kind of that wing option. So it's a one-man option the whole time. Now, obviously, we can't see uh, sub-tactics and stuff in that. I will be going into that in a minute. But as I said, you will notice as we go up along, you are going to see pretty similar teams all the way up no matter which player that you pick. Now, this guy has got a very, very, very unique formation that is, I would say, going to be used with sub-tactics because he's got Mason Mount CMF. He has got Benzema in this team as well with Mbappe. He's also got Salah. So I reckon that this guy is playing with a sub-tactic that the minute that the game starts, he is going to go into a back kind of tree with Vieira, Van Dijk and Ruben Diaz. And then he's going to have Mason Mount and Messi literally in an arrow through the middle. So it's going to be like that. That's basically what it's going to be like. Uh, obviously, he's got Robertson and Trent Arnold there as well. This is probably one of the only unique teams that you're going to see in it. The rest of the teams are pretty much uh, going to be the meta like of what is there and what has been there, I think, since PES 2020. Um, they've obviously stopped you having four center backs at the back. Last year, you could do that with PES 2021. You could have four CBs, and it was very, very OP because your center backs never go forward. If you've got Aspilicueta here, who's one of the best defensive minded right backs, you're still going back to that, you know, that, that, that tree. I call it the triple tripod, right? You've got your three center backs. You've got your three midfields and you've got your three, three strikers. So I wouldn't consider wingers as like a, a kind of a tripod because they're too far apart. But every every single squad you're going to see here, maybe 90% of the squads that we are going to see, uh, including Med, obviously, Med Nasa, one of the best players in the world at the moment. He's playing a modified 4-2-4. So you can see here, uh, he's playing a left back and a right back. He's got Danilo left back player of the week version obviously that will change depending on who's up in form or not he's got uh Shushimene and Mathaus and Nkunku up front or in midfield and then he's got the three strikers but 
regardless of what people are doing at the back, right, with their left backs and their right backs, I personally like to play, and I'll show you my formation in a minute of what I'm using, and it is slightly against the meta, but I will show you the meta and what I would play if you were looking to be a Division 1 player, right, because I'm never going to claim that I'm a top 10 player in the world, but I know what works, it's just about actually using that. If you guys want to be that really, 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 you know, like, aggressive player that wins 90% of their games you do need to employ a lot of the tactics that work. And that's the same in, in, in every online game. It's the same in COD as using the, the meta guns at the moment and then they balance that gun and then there's another gun. It's the same in FIFA, there's always meta players. It's the same in NBA 2K, there's always meta builds, whether it's a 6 foot eight point guard or whether it's a 7 foot 2 power forward or it's a 99 three point, you know, 5 foot 8 guy. There's always different builds that you can use that will make more sense. And it's the same in eFootball 23. So every single team that you're going to see here, regardless of what they're doing in the back, you will see no matter what, nine times out of 10, they are going to have that three center forward or three forward in the middle as best as they possibly can in three banks. And we keep going back to that three, triple three banks, right? We've got Ruben Diaz, Van Dijk and Beckenbauer, probably three of the most defensive, solid, defensively solid striker or center backs in the game. Jao Cancelo, probably the best left back in the game or right back, depending on what version of the card you have him. You've got pa Patrick Vieira and Messi, unbelievable in the middle of the pitch. And then you've got Mbappe, Ronaldo, Romanegi and Nedved kind of bringing it up as well. And that is a super team, 2 7 oh, 2 um, But again, what you're going to want to find here is that if you just look at this team as 3-3-3, as we keep going back to you're not going to be having too much width. If you want to go wide, you're going to be manually able to do that. But it's all about little triangles. If that's what it all is about. Like if you can have little touch and go triangles, you are going to literally get so many chances up in around the box and you're going to be able to uh, score a lot of those. Now, even we've got a modified 3-4-3 here. This is a very interesting one because we've got that bank of three back there again, but we've got Kimmich as a right back. So I would again be interested to see, are they pulling Vieira back a little bit defensively are they putting man marking on the center forward so that Paddy V is anchoring that position although something tells me here that the fact that Davids is playing I think they may they might be able to be pulling kind of like Davids Barella and Nedved central with a sub tactic and then having the three men up front so they'd have a three 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 literally straight up the whole way and then obviously three at the back where they close them in with a sub tactic that's why I always say um, the sub tactic can be very kind of confusing if you are coming up a top class player now Momo obviously is one of the top guys as well you can see there that his highest rank is three he is top three in the world at the moment you can see with the game plan here that he has again we go back to that rinse and repeat we go back to the tried and tested he's got Mendy on the left back here but he's got the Ligt, Van Dijk, Rudiger he's got Phillips, Pedri and Mount in midfield maybe I'm missing the trick with Mount lads that a lot of people are using him I must take a look at his stats He's got Son, Mbappe, and Messi up front. He's got his 3-3-3 again. And then Mendy has obviously a wide option for defense and attack. As we go up to the top two, we are also going to see that again, rinse and repeat again, where we've got our three-man option. Now, this guy has got his center backs. This was a formation and a tactic setup that a lot of people employed with Pez 21, especially in co-op. Uh, again, you have your three center backs and you have your left back of Davies and then you have your three in midfield and your three up front. Again, I would say that this guy is using a sub tactic, namely because you've got Vinicius Jr. as a winger. I would say that they're pulling Messi out there and having Rummy and Mbappe as their two man option and then Vinicius Jr. out on wide. And then the top player in Division 1 at the moment is going to be using... A very, very, very similar formation, except again, he's got Iniesta up there. Obviously, he's going to change that with Messi and with a sub tactic, I would imagine. And I would also think that he would change Koundé and uh, Piaul. It depends. I mean, sometimes people like to use Piaul as a right back because he is so solid defensively. He's able to keep up pace wise uh, with a lot of the strikers. Casemiro and Kante goes without saying two of the best ball winners in the game, apart from the likes of Vieira, Makalele, Davids, them, them, them uh, top tier guys as well. But you're kind of interlinking here and these guys are such a high level of player caliber on the sticks on the pad that they're able to use these players Cruyff Mbappe and Iniesta I think Messi and Iniesta are going to switch there so as I said lads that is the top 10 right let me know if you guys would be interested because I, I I like these kind of videos where we go in and look at it now if I'm looking at my squad here right 
this is kind of like a formation that I like to play. I'm obviously playing five at the back because it is kind of anti-meta. If you are coming up against a guy that has a three or four man option all the time with the little triangles, the main area that you need to close off is this is this area between Ruben Diaz, Maldini and Upper Meccano. That is the main area. So you have Makalele Roman back defensively. You have Carlos, and I usually have Kimmich here, but Kimmich obviously got uh, suspended in one of my games. He got a red card for butchering some young lad, so he is out. But from here, right, you are going to have your DMF kind of covering this gap as well. So you're going to be defending with a bank of four. That's the only difference. And you're going to be attacking with a bank of three, but it's going to be out wide. Now, when you're talking about um, meta, right, and this is something that I looked at before where you have your, uh, where is it? You have your meta, which I've called anti-meta, but you have your meta out here, right? Which is going to be playing long ball counter. And as I said, you will, I will go into different details on this. This is a formation as well that a lot of people play. So they will play this formation here, right? And I see a lot of people doing this. I've come up against a couple of people doing this on Xbox and my other account that I play on. You will see the sub tactic. I've talked about this. Check out my other video on it, right? What they'll do is they'll start with this formation and you'll say, okay, it's just playing a 3-4-3. Three, three. But what they'll do is they'll change to this the minute that the game plays. Now, obviously, I need to change up my positions here because I've got a way, you know, my team is way out of, out of, out of um, position. But what they'll do is they'll, they'll pretty much put a centre-back partnership here between these two guys. So you'll have your back three here, right here. You'll have your three centre-backs. And then we'll have a right back here which will be kind of like whoever it depends it can be. Now, obviously, I wouldn't be starting Ronaldo there, so I would obviously have a different player than Ronaldo there on the, on the right flank because I wouldn't be starting Ronaldo. I would probably be starting Kimmich, except he's actually suspended. So let's just say we put Kimmich in there. I'm going to start this team. You could say, yeah, Kimmich is right midfielder. He's a 90 overall. We're going to have the sub-tactic. Kimmich is going to be back there. So you've also now got your banks right there. And then we put this up here, this up here, this down here, and Romario here, and then that's it. And that's basically what the meta kind of is at the moment, that you've got your central players. These can vary. These formations can vary here. But Kimmich here is basically seen as an extra piece that can do whatever he wants. So if you've got Anthony Davis, you can put him, or Alfonso Davis, you can put him on the left flank and just switch Bastoni as a CB. You know what I mean? Like, that's not a big problem there. So, yeah. Let me know what you guys think. I will be doing another video on this, kind of like a part two of it, where we're going to be going through random squads in the top 50. And I'm going to be showing you the different players and, you know, the players that we that the players are using. So obviously let me know what you guys think. I will talk to you later. Let me know what formation and tactics you guys like to use, because it's not all about, you know, being the top 50 players in the world. You could play this meta formation till the cows come home and you still mightn't get up to the level that these guys get to, because they are extremely good at the game. You know, they're exceptionally good at the game. Um, and they have that different, you know, level that they can go to controlling the players. So let me know. Let me know if you enjoy these type of videos. I will talk to you later. Hope you don't, um, hope you, uh, hope you don't, what? What was I going to say there? I don't know. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you guys subscribe to the content that we are producing. And uh, I'll be back quite soon with part two of this video. Peace.